So at this ASCO, uh, I got the chance to present data on our phase two study with lenalidomide and obinutuzumab. So this study enrolled patients, it's actually a phase one, two study, enrolled patients with previously treated uh, follicular lymphoma and low-grade lymphoma. And, and the purpose of the study was to try to figure out the dose of lenalidomide that should be given with obinutuzumab in these patients with relapsed follicular lymphoma. So it was a pretty simple design. Uh, we enrolled patients in the phase one portion with escalating doses of lenalidomide. We did 10, 15, and 20 milligrams. And we got to the 20 milligram dose and did not see any significant uh, DLTs or dose limiting toxicities. So then the phase two portion of the study, we expanded that uh, trial to enroll 30 patients with follicular lymphoma, all, all relapsed uh, lymphomas. And uh, we wanted to find out what was the activity or the efficacy of lenalidomide and obinutuzumab in this population of people who were, who were pretty uh, well treated. Most uh, of these folks had received at least two prior lines of therapy and several of them, about over 30% of them, were rituxan refractory. And in this population, we saw 100% overall response rate and a complete remission rate of around 70%. Right now, the study is uh, continuing to, or we're continuing to follow patients, but at two years, we see a progression-free survival of a little bit over 60%. So uh, we're very encouraged uh, that, uh, you know, in this population of people who often don't have a lot of treatment options, that this uh, non-chemotherapy regimen of lenalidomide and obinutuzumab uh, works very well.